What's up, kids? And happy Mother's Day to you moms. Couldn't do it without you. Hey, I hope you enjoy this kids' church, and I hope you did something extra special for your moms. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise Him sun and moon, praise Him all you shining stars, praise Him you highest heavens and you waters above the sky. Let them praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him on His angels, praise Him on His heavenly hosts, praise Him, sun and moon, praise Him all you shining stars, praise Him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, let them praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Honestly, I seek you, my soul thirsts for you, my body longs for you. In a dry and weary land, where there is no water, oh God, you are my God. Honestly, I seek you, my soul thirsts for you, my body longs for you. In a dry and weary land, where there is no water, oh God, you are my God. seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory because your love is better than life my lips will glorify you i've seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory because your love is better than life my lips will glorify you i will praise you as long as i live and in your name i will lift up my Oh God, you are my God, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, my body longs for you. In a dry and weary land, where there is no water, oh God, 
God, you are my God. I've seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I've seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hand. Hello everyone and welcome back to New Story Church Kids. I am back again this Sunday with our children's church lesson. As always, this lesson will go along with Pastor Jacob's message, so be sure to stick around after I am done to check that out. A couple of other things, it's Mother's Day, so don't forget to show that special mom in your life some extra love and uh, just let her know how much you appreciate and love her. Uh, two, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out the church's website, which is our newstory.church. Uh, if you go to the menu button and click on the kids section, Pastor Jacob has put some really cool stuff on there for you guys, so check it out. Um, today we're going to be reading a story about Jesus Heals the Paralyzed Man. So a quick brief recap of what we have learned about faith so far. We have learned that uh, faith is not being able to see, but trusting in the one who can. And it means that just trusting that God, no matter what, will do what is best and what is right for us. Um, we've learned that we need to continue to grow our faith. And by growing our faith, it means to uh, read our Bible, to pray, to praise and worship God, um, to share our faith, to tell the goodness of God. Uh, to others, to be there for other people. Um, we talked last Sunday about the importance of loving our neighbor and just to treat others how we would want to be treated and to um, show and tell others what it means to live our life how God would want us to. So, this Sunday, we are going to be reading a story about Jesus Heals the Paralyzed Man, and this is going to be coming from the book of Mark. And do you all know what paralyzed means? Um, it could be, you know, that the person can't walk. It could be that they maybe just can't use their legs. It could be that maybe they can't move their entire body. Um, you know, now we have wheelchairs for 
uh, people who are paralyzed, but back then they didn't have that, so they either had to sit or lie down all the time. Um, so, this story actually takes place a few days after Jesus had touched a man who had leprosy and made him better. So, he was going from town to town and performing all these miracles and everyone wanted to see him. People were so excited whenever they heard that Jesus was in their town because they either wanted to see a miracle or they wanted to be the one who was healed. So as Jesus entered one of the homes in Capernaum, people quickly gathered around him. So many people came, there was no room left, not even outside the door. There were four men who uh, wanted to bring their friend to Jesus. So back then they didn't have cars or really any ways of transportation other than camels and donkeys. And so they had their friend on their mat. And so the four men were carrying him to see Jesus. But as soon as they got to the house where Jesus was, they realized they wouldn't be able to get through to see him. And I'm thinking he was probably pretty heavy, and they were just so desperate. They knew that he would only be in town then, and they wanted to see him today. So instead of giving up, they decided to just persevere and keep going. So another little part of the story is back then the houses weren't built like they are now. Um, so they, were, they decided they were going to get their friend up on the roof, and they were going to dig a hole uh, through the roof and be able to lower their friend's mat and lower him down to Jesus, to, to him. So they get to work, they start digging and digging. And back then the roofs were made of like dirt or plaster, maybe bricks or straw. So they start digging and digging. And these people that were listening carefully to what Jesus had to say, all of a sudden they stopped because they could hear all this rumbling and see all this stuff crumbling down from up above. And as they look up, Jesus looks up and he sees that these four men were lowering their friend down to him. And the first thing that Jesus said was, I, you know, he was so impressed by the faith that they had that, you know, they did all of this to get their friend there. And he says to the man that was on the mat, son, your sins are forgiven. And it's probably not what he expected to hear because he really wanted Jesus to heal him so he could walk. Um, but Jesus knew because he knows everything that he needed to be forgiven what was in his heart needed to be forgiven and that was way more important than being able to heal him to where he could walk again and there were some people around there were some other teachers around and they they were just so frustrated they're like how dare he how dare this man forgive sins only they thought only God could do that immediately because Jesus knows all he knew what they were thinking and he said to them why would you think these things? And you can imagine they were startled. They were shocked that Jesus knew what they were thinking. And he says to them, what is easier to say to the man, your sins are forgiven or to say to get up, take your mat and walk. But I want you to know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins. This might be a little hard to understand, but I think Jesus was trying to get through to the teachers of the law and tell them that he was the son of man, that God had given him the power to forgive sins and heal people. These things could not be done by a regular person, only by God. Then before he was finished, Jesus said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. So he did, he gets up, he picks up his mat and he walks out and full view of them all. And they were just amazed. They were praising God by saying, we've never seen anything like this before. Wasn't that such a cool story? Not only did Jesus heal his physical problem, but he also healed his heart, which was what was most important. 
All right, friends, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson and I hope that um, you can think of ways that you could be a good friend and how you can help others seek Jesus. So let's bow our heads and say a little prayer before we end this time. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you do for us, God. We thank you for this time that we had together and we just ask that you continue to work in our hearts and to continue to help us grow in our faith and to love one another and to always be kind and to seek Jesus in all that we do. And all these things we ask for, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, friends, I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you soon. Goodbye.